Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, I uh, discovered the goofiness with the mod that I thought was leading to the UI problems. May have been my own doing. <laughs> A little bit. Before we get to this, let me explain. Um, I noticed in the mod notes later... Um, <laughs> Apparently, they suggested to restart the console before you start playing after updating the mod. That I didn't... I didn't notice that. So, it might be new. Although, it probably isn't. <laughs> so, in all likelihood, all the screw-ups with the UI has been my fault. Purely mine. <laughs> Possibly. It's entirely possible it hasn't, but at the same time, it's also very possible it is. So, that out of the way, my bad, probably. Um, this is the first recording with the new microphone that wasn't stream related, so onward we go. Alright, we're going to talk to Nick a little bit in our chair. There we go. Perfect to find someone who's gone missing the devil is in the details uh -huh. tell me everything you can no matter how painful it might be i could be helpful but i could also be a jackass but i'm not gonna do that um my wife was yeah i'll let i'll just let him say it my wife was murdered she was trying to keep them from taking sean and they they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? Hmm. Uh, yeah. There's we were this in one. Vault when it happened. We'll just go in a line. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? Yep. More importantly, you were underground. Sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Yep. Anything else you remember? That's true. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. Mm. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything Not else sure. you remember? Uh, yeah. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Yeah. Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Yeah. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Oh, no. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders. Super mutants, the gunners, and of course there's the institute. Huh. So who are the gunners? Who are the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Huh. So uh, super mutants? Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. We've already seen. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. Yeah, that's true. Huh. Nope. Give me a moment. <coughs> My throat decided at that exact moment it didn't want to cooperate. <coughs> yeah, but that. Okay. Back to the game. Moving on. You think raiders might have done this? I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. That's true. Although there are... A sh uh, this is a little on my own theory here. There is a shocking number of semi-organized raider groups. At least in, you know, this game. Considering how completely unorganized they were in Fallout 3. So the Commonwealth does seem to have some level of intelligence in, you know, the raiders here. And that said, that... that pales in comparison to those on the west coast with the vipers the 
uh, scorpions and great cons, uh, jackals. There's a whole number of them. There's a whole list of them. But yeah, I, I'm just shocked at how different it is from Fallout 3's, you know, raider groups as opposed to this one here. So you think the Institute's responsible? So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, yep. they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Well, yeah. It's easy to see why. Those early model sense of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Yeah, that's not good. Newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Oh, uh, dear. Close enough. Uh, give me a moment. I'm going to adjust my chair. Pardon the squeakiness. Uh, I drifted a little too far from the microphone. Okay. Uh, you're a prototype? You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. We There's will the soon. the ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And mm. the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Yeah, that's true. And uh, one of the DLCs does have something similar. But we'll find that out soon. Anyway, uh, you don't know anything, really? You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Hmm. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Most likely. Uh, either way, I need to find Sean. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Uh... Low and rough. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll go from the top again and drift down. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Uh, not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. Which is why I'm not good in that business. <laughs> Very, pretty much. Uh, the man that killed my wife. The there we go. Killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. But that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Mm-hmm. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Are you? Anything ya? more you can tell me? Oh, plenty. Uh, there it One is. One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait, it couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Uh, <laughs> should I be the sarcastic asshole? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to. Oh, yeah, I heard their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right, calm down. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Way too big of a coincidence. Is it? What notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? He had a kid with him, didn't he? Wow, That's thank right. you for that, the truck. Abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Oh, wow. He's still in town? You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. That house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. Whoa, okay. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. You said he that, and then I saved your ass, Nick. Buddy. Pal. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go. In. Up. Out we go. Eventually. There we go. Whoa! That's right in your face. <laughs> Take aim, army style. Well, that, that's definitely a way to do it. Okay. I'm going to drink my coffee real quick. Yeah, I finished my coffee. That was quick. <laughs> that was faster than I anticipated. All right. Onward we go. And I... Let's walk over to where we're supposed to be. Let me double check a perk. 
real quick just to make sure I didn't get anything in it. I don't think I've gotten that far yet. Yeah, I'll need to uh, up this a lot soon. <laughs> okay. Didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Really? Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance. Bad news. Shit. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Really? Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The MO is all him. The modus operandi, okay? Leaving a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later. Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. That's true. Although, technically, we're not even sure what age Sean is at this point. We just know that's when he left. Don't know how much longer you were in anyway. Uh huh. Well, I'll, I'll try. If not, we can use Kate. Or at least try Kate. Probably. Why don't I give it a try? How about I give Kate a chance? Hey. What is it? Uh, you you try and do the door. Go check that out. Alrighty. Well, any. Well, I'm I'm trying. Don't get your hopes up. Don't get my hopes up. All right. Damn! Broke a pin. I'll try again. Okay. Damn. This lock's pissing me off. Lock's too stubborn for me. Why don't you give it? A well, I'm letting Kate try it, Nick. Would you, did you not see that? Had it that time. Not happening. Not happening. Great. Well, how okay. how are your yeah. pi uh, pins doing? Ah, uh, they're not great. Uh, let me give you a couple more. Because uh, I don't really need that many. Um, yeah, let's give her a couple. Like that. Um, no way. I and there's this. no way I can do it. Yeah, so. Hey, Valentine. I tried. I had Kate try. Need to find the key. Yeah, we kind of do. I can't get through that door. See that platform in the distance? Uh, kind of. Oh, yeah. The elevator to the mayor's office. Oh. Why don't you go ask around there? I could. See if I can jimmy this lock. Well, good luck. If we didn't do it and Kate couldn't do it, then you're fucked. But I'll try it anyway. Because that's what I do. Might as well try it. Okay. Head over here. Taking a little bit of a scenic detour. Oop -ba, oop -ba, oop -ba. There we go. Just having fun jumping. <laughs> Whee! Okay. Eventually, I need to get better armor for me, because this armor is not going to do it for me. <laughs> not enough, anyway. Uh, speaking of which, do I have any better armor on me? No. Uh, hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I did install a mod recently that should allow me to get somewhat better armor. Oh, the elevator's already arrived. Okay. Well, then, in that case... Okay. Get the woman. Hey. Girl, would you get on? Over Please. Here. Yep, I got it. Thank you. Good mother of God. Something in your blood. Just don't want to listen to me. There we go. Probably your hair. Ginger attitude. Now, how in the hell am I supposed to get there? You're already there! <laughs> Kate, calm down. Come on, lady. Come on. You're gorgeous as all hell, but come on. Let's use some sense here. Oh! Hello, Piper. That's what I want to know, but I just, I have a feeling it's probably going to fail. What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Oh, really? Any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. Maybe. After this article comes out, that's what everyone's going to be asking. 
If you are Fair enough. In the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. So. I was just leaving anyway. <laughs> so not her? Okay, I got you. The one that wants to know everything about everything? Fair enough. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Okay. Need help? That that seemed a little suspicious, but all right. Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? Why do I keep doing that? I keep forgetting it's voice acting. That the city has seized. We only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. Fair enough. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Can I do that? I can feel <laughs> I can feel the gears of bureaucracy grinding me up already. Like I know that there, feeling. Honey. Good luck. Grist in the mill. Damn, that was a good comeback. That was a good one. God damn. Alright, let's go talk to the mayor. This is actually pretty good digs up here. I mean, considering how the rest of the world is. Yo, McDonough. Ah, yes. I remember you. Yep. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. <coughs> How can Fucking I cheesy. Alright. Uh, I'm looking for a key to the house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. I'm looking for a key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. Where would we put them all? <laughs> a pocket? Every citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. Really? I could bribe him, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to try A, but first, I'm going to, uh, cheatsy doodle. <laughs> Please, Mayor McDonough, this man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. You're an asshole! So that's it? You're not going to help me? So that's it? You're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. You are an ass. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I'm not going to bribe him for that. Disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. Well, in that case, wait, there's another marker. Where is that? What is that? What is it? Uh, Geneva. Hey, Geneva. Maybe I can talk her into giving me a copy. Maybe. We'll find out in a second. Geneva. I'm sorry, but you're not getting that key from me. Why do you want it so badly anyway? Uh, yeah, let's try this one. Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Well, you do seem like a sweet guy. Who <laughs> it worked for her. All, All right. right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him. Thank you. Thank you, Geneva. You are amazing. Okay, it's now on the desk over here, which is weird that it ended up all the way over here. But okay, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Alrighty. Cool beans. Kate, okay, come on. I know you didn't like me for all the things I just did. Mainly cheatsy doodling, but it's fine. It's come on. What you need? I, I need you to follow me. It's kind of what I needed to do. Let's go back to the elevator here. And bop. move here. Well, uh, hopefully you do. Just need to wait for her to run. There we go. There we are. God damn that corset though. Okay, and down we go. Now we head back to Nick. <sighs> Always got to deal with bureaucrats. All my life, I have to deal with bureaucrats. I swear. Same here, sister. Same fucking here. You have no idea. And up and you run right into me, would you? It's like, I mean, come on now. You can't do that in public. What? Okay, let's get back to where we're supposed to go and not make jokes. 
guess. I'm not good at them, ever. Uh, yeah! Well, that's nice. That you guys at least respect them. Well, not often. Hi there. Okay, that was a weird way to say that. I'm gonna just go over here. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. And let's give the key to Nikki or do it myself. Either way. Got the key? Yep. Alright, let's head in. You do the honors. Of course. Open. And then where do we go? Now we just need to find Let's evidence. Kellogg must have left something behind. Well, I mean, hopefully. But this seems like a very small shack. Smaller than it looks on the outside, anyway. Uh, granite stout, I'll take that. Yeah, a little bit. That's what I was thinking. Kind of want to take some of his stuff, though. Father, that's just garbage. I toss it. Would you shush, Kate? I need this stuff whether you know it or not. I'll take these place. coffee cups because that ceramic would be good. And I want to look up here, see what we got. Oh, we got some corn. And some duct tape. Hell yeah. A coffee cup, coffee pot, Tell another coffee cup. Right. Look for anything out of sorts. Anything out of sorts, huh? Button. A button. A cooking pot. I'll need that. Uh, oh, and speaking of, the marker pops up. Oops. Didn't want the ball peen hammer, but that works. One way to hide a room. But kind of. But oh, it was it's over there. Oh. Oh my. This is a big old spot. And then is that a manic? Why the hell is there a mannequin in the corner? What? What the hell? Kellogg. You got some splaining to do. Wanna bits, dirty water. Take some of this ammo and all this good stuff. Iguana soup. Look at this. All of America's favorite thing. Yep, gotta love it all. Okay, take this. Oops, I picked up something I did not want. I have a feeling it was probably something food related. Uh, what was it? Gumdrops. There we go. Ah, definitely I did not want, but I'll eat it anyway. Because why not? There we go. Take all of that. Uh, Mentats. Orange Mentats. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, we got with an ale, a pack of cigarettes, which has asbestos, which I need. Uh, cabinets empty. When it stout. Stout beer, forty-four caliber bullets. Yep. And cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Huh. Interesting brand won't lead us anywhere on its own though. Well, that's true. I'm gonna take some more stuff before I talk to you. Uh, iguana bits and stim pack and stim pack. All right. Uh. <laughs> what? The great clockwork dick is stumped? It's synth detective, jackass. <laughs> if you're gonna be that way, you might as well get the make and model right. Hey! <laughs> aside, but what about dog meat? I was close you know, enough. Like him can track a man sent for miles. Don't call him a mutt, but then again, I called you a clockwork dick, so, uh... the trail. Before you head out, I know this is personal business. Uh-huh. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. That's true. And I would rather want to keep Kate on this. Uh, any words of wisdom? Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. That's you true. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. That is also true. Uh, uh, goodbye, Nick. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. I'll make sure to do that. Anytime you need help. I'm knocking. Will do. And now he's available to be a companion. Yeah! Fuck yeah. Hey, Kate. Point out what you need and I'll get right on it. Let's talk a little bit. Uh, I, uh, your thoughts? Your thoughts? Nice to know there's someone I can depend on out here. That's always good to have. So, I uh, didn't need anything else. Point by me. Alright, now that that's done, I also noticed there was a fan in the corner here that I kind of want. Because screws. Alrighty, I think we just need to get dog meat, who should be right outside the door there. 
But uh, I'm going to leave that for the next episode. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and sleuthing out this mysterious mystery, I guess, <laughs> for you.